So, how is everyone? I hope you are all well. Now, this is more of a call to arms, if you like. Now, when a community works together, we can become quite a powerful tool. And what is contained within this video is some information that could well be a pipe dream, could be lies, and I'm not going to say that that's not a possibility. But what I will say is it's something that has been brought to me. And I'm currently waiting the rest of the information that I believe will be forthcoming. That says that in July of 2021, this person believes that Summer Wells spent a period of around two weeks with Jose Roman in a hotel in a small town in Alaska. Now, my email is contained within the description of this video. And I am giving other content creators the invitation to reach out to me with the mindset of going forward and trying to get to the bottom of this information. And why am I thinking that this has credibility? For a start off, the person who's reached out to me is not someone who appears to be active all over social media, and even though that could be false, this isn't someone who I've dealt with before. The information that I have so far is quite extensive. And with the facts that we know within the case or the things that we've been told, certain things just don't sit right, guys. And this is what I'm going to say. Now, we've heard that Dudley stated that Jose was around the area in the days leading up to summer going missing. Now... There's some confusion over whether Dudley stated that he saw him or whether Don told Dudley that he saw him. But ultimately, irrelevant, his name was brought up yet again. His name was brought up, it was brought into the mix, and it places him in the vicinity in the days leading up to summer going missing. Now that could be co it could be coincidental. There could be no reason for it. It could just be one of those things. But if Jose played such a minimal part in the story, like he came down in this New York trip, there was nothing about it, and the things happened that we were led to believe via Jose, that he just stayed there for a few days, then why would there be a reason to push him into the picture? Why would somebody even mention that he was there? Because he would be insignificant. Candace referred to him as the little Mexican, as if she hardly knew the guy. He wasn't even Mexican, he was Puerto Rican. We also hear Jose, when he was talking of Summer, the way in which he was able to bring her to life. To say the design that was on her towel even. He had a name for her. Was it Half Point? And all this happened apparently within just a few days. I feel that there is enough there to offer this credibility. We now, sadly, we're led to believe that Jose is no longer with us. And that is a sad, sad fact. I say fact. It's not able to be found anywhere, but there are creators out there who have stated that they were able to contact funeral homes and clarify that. But it is nowhere else. We can't find it anywhere else, but we can't argue it. But ultimately, we're going with the fact that Jose Roman is sadly no longer with us. And it begs the question as to whether... There was guilt in Jose's heart. And again, this is speculation. I'm by no means saying that he did. It's ill to speak ill of the dead. 
and I don't want to do that, but ultimately this has been brought to me and I can't sit on it and leave it. There is a lot more other information that I won't divulge in here, but like I say, content creators who would have the ability to look into this better than what I can from where I am and know more about the laws and jurisdictional problems because this is something that we've also come up against with regards to FBI and their jurisdiction in Alaska, which you may be able to assist me with far better than I have time to do myself. But that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the potential sighting of summer with Jose in a hotel for around two weeks' time, a period of two weeks, in July of 2021 we know summer went somewhere summer didn't vanish off the face of the planet she wasn't abducted by aliens even though we've all said we wouldn't be surprised i think we can pretty much say that aliens didn't do it bears didn't do it a stranger didn't do it she didn't just wander off jump in a car herself and bugger off into the sunset Something happened to this little girl. Someone removed her from the hill. Or she is still on the hill. Let's come together as a community and see whether this is something or it is nothing. What harm can it do? I'll speak to you all in the next one.